what was there before that? Hey gang, Arlo here getting ready to hit the road in my Chevy Silverado to find out. Hi gang, Mike Carlo here with a look at what was there before that. Brought to you by the 2014 Chevy Silverado. If you're on Interstate 64 headed eastbound just after the military highway exit and before you get to Northampton Boulevard, if you gaze to the right you'll find a group of buildings known as the Lake Wright Executive Center. Want to know what was there before that? A great place to catch a ball game or even a concert. It was known as Met Park, home of the Tidewater Tides, the AAA affiliate of the New York Mets. It was built in 1969 and had a capacity of 6,200. The layout of Met Park made for some unique settings, three parts. There were two baseline bleacher sections and behind home plate, a large windowed building with very limited seating in front of it. Some of the favorite memories of Met Park belong to a man who spent every year there, former Tides general manager Dave Rosenfield. The first game at Met Park, uh, it looked so deep to center field. There was no batter's eye uh, background hitter. Uh, we had some trees that had not filled in. It looked like it was about nine miles to center field. I looked at that at, at ballpark, I said, nobody's ever going to hit a home run there. And uh, opening night, about the fourth or fifth inning, I was walking around in the ballpark, and I heard the crack of a bat, and I looked up, and Ken Singleton had hit one over the trees in dead center field. A lot of notable players and managers came through Met Park over the years. I remember watching Dwight Gooden play there. Lenny Dykstra scooping up grounders. Daryl Strawberry in the outfield. Ron Hodges, Frank Verdi. Ned Yost, Clint Hurdle, and one of my all-time favorite Tides, Mookie Wilson. While playing at Met Park, the Tides won the Governor's Cup Championship five times. In 1992, the Mets sold the Tides franchise to a group led by Tampa businessman Ken Young. Later that year, the Tides said goodbye to Met Park. Leaving Met Park was very difficult for me. I had a lot of great, great memories there. It was state-of-the-art when it was built. By the time we had been there for 22 years, it no longer was even close to state-of-the-art. It was the first minor league ballpark with a restaurant. The facilities for clubhouses and so on were really totally inadequate for the way baseball has come about now at the, at the, at the AAA level. In 1993, the Tidewater Tides became the Norfolk Tides and moved to their new home at Harbor Park in downtown Norfolk. As part of the opening of the park in April of 1993, it was symbolically a kind of an event set up where we would take the baseball from the mound at Old Met Park and transport it by hand from person to person, uh, you know, a human chain, so to speak, all the way to the pitcher's mound at Harbor Park. I was fortunate enough to be in a van and following the whole path of the baseball and along the way interviewing people and seeing what their thoughts were about this beautiful park that opened in April. This is Mike Arlo. Thanks for joining us for another edition of What Was There Before That? Brought to you by your 2014 Chevy Silverado. Next time you're on Northampton Boulevard or eastbound on 64 and check out the Lake Ride Executive Center, remember what was there before that.